welcome everyone to Juno Sweet Just Commentary. So we are gonna react to a video, guys. This video is a it's a sensitive video in terms of the topic out from Thailand. Election time is around the corner, and I did run across an article where I believe that the king, the current king, King Rama the Tenth sister is going or was um, nominated to contest the election and I understood that there is a bit of a controversy in it. Now I understood also that um, she was married, she's, she's from the royal family and she got married to either a foreigner or someone who is not in a royal family so she somehow um, lost that um, privilege as um, a royal um, princess however she is still maintaining the status of a princess and um, it's sort of a controversial thing right now because her brother King Rama the 10th um, is not all that for her running as in basically joining politics because as far as I understood even watching videos about King Rama the 9th the king is separate from the politicians and um, I think that is a bit of an issue going on there so I hope indeed that it's rectified soon but I did get a request to react to a video so I could learn more about it and I'll be more than happy to react to it of course I will try my best to limit my opinion because as far as I understood and I respect the law of Thailand that you are not supposed to speak bad of the royal family and so I am definitely respecting that. Um, I will try my best to maintain my opinion and just watch the video. And thank you guys for requesting. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead. By the way, it's entitled Thai Princess Runs for Prime Minister against Military Junta. The leader of the Thai Raksa Cha Party entered the election commission with an unprecedented nominee for Prime Minister. Wow. No one less than the Thai King's older sister, Princess. Oh, she's the oldest. Or older and wow. one of the member have proposed her name and we all agree that this is the most appropriate name the, to be in the pm candidate list for thai raksa chat we all agree you know uh, and so i think that this is uh wow. the, 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 the election candidate. is and i wow. believe that yeah this is the best that the, the best and the only one that we think that uh, most fit with the situation right now for a princess, her royal status is complicated. She officially renounced her title in 1972 when she married an American. 1972? Wow. In 1998, her formal what title was never restored. But she's still regarded as royalty by the Thai people. Yep. So that's King Rama the Ninth Daughter. She's better known for her show business career than her interest wow. in politics. She's been a singer, an actor, and a talk show host. But how will the royal candidate fare in the rough and tumble of an election? Wow. Uh, we have a plan for the campaign. We're going to go ahead with the campaign, but um, according to, uh, to, to do with her, uh, dealing with her, then I think... No, on, if she's you know, part of the royal family, you know, have to ask and there's a law that you can't her. speak about the royal family, if she goes into Friday's politics, what if someone says something bad or like the graffiti that's bad or... I mean, behind the nomination. it's a bit... The power struggle between Shinawatra's populist red shirt movement and the military-backed royalist and urban elite has mired Thailand with more than a decade of violence, political instability, what? and division. A oh my God. candidate in the Shinawatra camp could send a shockwave through those loyalties. The princess's main opponent would be the leader of the military junta, Prime Minister Payu Chanoch. He also announced his candidacy on Friday. So, so she's going up against Junta. Uncharted waters. DW's Bastian Hate caught up with political analyst. Titinan Pongsudirak in Bangkok. This wow. is the first time since Thailand became a, a constitutional monarchy 86 years ago that a close member of the royal family runs for political office. What do you make of that? Uh, I think that uh, people today are still uh, shocked and, and digesting about the announcement that uh, the princess. The so, what are the chances? Do you guys think she will win? Of His Majesty the King has joined one political party. Uh, as a contender for the prime minister. What do you guys think? Uh, this is something that we've never had before. Uh, normally, we've had some minor royals. In I understood too that they, the Mom electoral Mom commission Mom is Mom going Dao, to try or Highness, they were going not, to consider uh, to this um, extent, the voting of the, as the to if she, if she can actually At the same time, she also uh, officially become a commoner. Or join politics. She, has, uh, she gave up her royal status in, back in 1972 when she married an American. Uh, yet the Thai people uh, still honor her wow. uh, with the royal kind of uh, 
reference. And, status. and a lot of uh, foreigners, our foreign friends, call her princess, nevertheless. Uh, with wow. the new king, she also will be most likely elevated because, you know, once the new king is uh, crowned, uh, he, his sister will become a sister of a king. Uh, and wow. uh, she may be given her title back. Uh, uh, so a lot of changes in store for Thailand. Uh, I think for politics, for Thai politics, this is a profound uh, development because the That's electoral arena is different now. You have uh, Thai Raksa Ashad party uh, that she represents now. Suddenly, overnight, it has shot up from nowhere to be a, wow. a, yeah, I mean. a recognized party, maybe even a leading uh, contender to win the election now. Wow. Explain oh what my this gosh. means for Thai politics, though. Uh, for Thai politics, in the last two decades, you know, you, you, people have seen Thailand has been stuck, a lot of uh, turmoil. Yeah, and the Sudan uh, 2014 was the last shirts, actual protest, polarization, election, or uh, democratic toxin, election. Uh, ouster, uh, two military coups, uh, one judicial coup, so very unstable uh, in Thailand, volatile. For in terms Thai of politics the politics now, uh, we are seeing something we've never seen before. Uh, what Thailand has been I'm quite sure this is going to bring a lot of attention again to Thailand. I remember the world the really got, system, and Thailand really got a lot of know, attention from the world when the boys were lost in the cave, society, when the king passed kind of away, and now this um, news in regards to the princess running they wouldn't have a electoral system as a possible candidate so I think, for a political uh, that party. Balance, Thailand has not found. Wow. And this development today, the big question for me is that uh, will, will it lead to um, an opportunity, a window to rebalance Thai politics? I wonder, For that yeah. to happen, what happened today has to later on be inclusive. Uh, so today it's been a big gain, big advantage for Thaksin, the Thaksin side. Right. But uh, the other side, wow. uh, they may not be satisfied. So they also <coughs> have to be included somehow. I wonder what was um, the was say, current was prime minister's... Um, a party that is affiliated with the previous prime minister who was ousted by the military also under the pretext well, yeah, because to protect the, the monarchy. Does this move now pit the monarchy what, that is, against the military? That is that... Uh, oh my, no, that is very that touchy, yo. The because the military came, or the current prime minister came as a result of the previous prime minister who had to, I think he fled the country or something. The who? And she's now going up. Oh, wow. Uh, he's been on the throne for two years. He will have coronation this May, this coming May. Uh, this May is going to be coming? Really? Uh, of okay. course, now that Princess Ubon Rat is ahead of. Uh, so wait, the election is going to happen before be the event in May. Now. Uh, and that party will have an edge over the military party uh, and General Prayut, the Prime Minister. And General Prayut also is running uh, as a candidate for Prime Minister. Uh, so uh, I think the military party wow, now, oh my God, that is uh, so, does not have That is so interesting. I want to hear you guys' um, response. What, edge, what is going on? What do you guys feel? Side, but I'm afraid that now uh, if you think, if expressing yourself will somehow get uh, you in trouble, please don't I think do some it. Term tension now, if it will, you know, in terms of commenting on the video, okay? Because right, I uh, understand it's very, one side and the other side it can be very ticklish in so terms of politics and the royal family. And to, uh, be careful what you guys say. Uh, reconciliation, which means that uh, for now she joins one side, but later on uh, there's an arrangement for the other side to be included. Then Thailand can move forward. I think we can have an wow. opportunity to find some some compromise and stability but if she joins this one side and this one side keeps winning and then we'll have more imbalance and probably more tension and turmoil wow what do you think her chances of winning are hmm. the election is still some weeks away uh, she will be Yo, most likely next month by competitors in like four weeks because, uh, you know i think that she 24 about five uh, weeks number five uh, weeks is thai election yo i hope i live to see member. This to be for you guys in regards to this election. So her political competitors will soon be announced. <laughs> will, will criticize her maybe, and the party certainly. Our election that will soon be announced in Dominica soon. Um, the chances for her can't wait. Uh, are very good at this time, but it also depends on on what she does, what the party does, what the taxing camp does. If they overplay, if they take advantage of this, they take opportunity to use this development today for political victory. Then, uh, in the medium, longer term, 
uh, it may boomerang, it may, may be detrimental to, to her and also to really? the toxin side. You just spoke about criticizing her. Now, Thailand has very strict laws yeah, when it comes to criticizing the That is what I was family. saying. Will political, political contenders feel free to openly That is what I was saying. We have not been in this situation. situation. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, That's what I was saying. Royals, but not immediate family member of the royal family in politics. So I think that uh, wow, this, we have some weeks ahead before the election. This is so uh, ticklish. I, I suspect. I, I, because I, if she is still holding the title of a royal be, uh, some family, issues uh, you can criticize uh, involving her because she is now uh, with Tyra Sachat. The Les Majeste law technically, officially, only covers the king, the queen, the crown prince, and the regent. Doesn't cover. Oh, oh uh, okay, okay. Uh, however, uh, because the institution of the monarchy is so is so sacred in Thailand, from the last yeah, king, king of many people will cut some slack. Maybe many, many people will, will think that she is protected as well. Uh, but but this will be new dependent. This this is a new thing to them. Interpretation. Uh, if the interpretation is very broad, uh, then it could be seen as protecting her as well. Uh, but if it's uh, technically, then she's not covered. Wow. Uh, it also depends on how she will, she will campaign, she will be engaged, uh, how she does in politics. If she uses uh, this platform wow. and uh, the attachment to the royal family to, for political advantage, then I think there'll be some challenges. Uh, and I think wow. there I, I, I do hope indeed that this Thank goes well much. for you guys. I do hope indeed that this goes well for you guys because I know particularly she's can be. Um, I reacted to a lot of videos about the king and I've learned a lot of King Rama the Ninth and the, the laws and, and how highly the people of Thailand sees the King Rama the Ninth and of course um, right now King Rama the Tenth is on the throne and is his sister and uh, wow this is just amazing it is amazing of course I hope indeed as I said that this works out great for you guys leave a comment below as to what you guys would like to express um, so that I could understand what's going on even better. I ho I do hope that it's a peaceful election and that all goes well. Of course, thank you so very much for requesting this video. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Leave a comment below. Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.